Hey my dear beautiful ladies and my handsome boys welcome back again to your favorite astrology channel the one and only the beautiful the charming gorgeous channel <laughs> Jupi Van Astrology yeah you guys are on the right place today we're going to discuss like the uh, uh your spouse nature and behavior okay like as per your chart what are some things some general things that you can see and you can just at least get little bit of idea to see uh like what kind of spouse you will get her nature or like his nature depending upon like you know uh whether you are a male or female you can if you are a male you can watch this video for your wife if you are a female you can watch this video for your husband okay so we will discuss about the nature and behavior of your spouse the most important thing is that you going to have to watch this video full because this video have some random things that i will discuss okay and uh, so if watching this video full is really a great idea so that you cannot uh, escape the things because little information is not good you can have to get the full information okay so but for sure if you want to see the proper things so you can get consultation from us now guys i would like to tell you before you move forward you can directly take consultation from us we have created a website now it's so simple you can go there link in in description and the comment section below you can just click there and just in just click of a button you can just simply purchase directly consultation from us as the instruction are given the website and then we will just help you out in the consultation okay guys so for that links are in comment section and description you can purchase consultation also guys see for seeing the nature and behavior of your spouse we going to have to see a lot of things okay i have created many videos on this channel you can go and on the channel in the video section see the other video as well but our today's topic is what are some general thing that you can see okay so the, see i will tell you some simple thing is like a simple things okay first you have to see only d1 chart for the sake of this video although we also analyze d9 and d1 both like this like you know lot of thing that we need to see okay like the nakshatra etc and like placements and lot more so i'm creating many videos you can also check those so but for sure i would like to tell you some basic simple things that you can see to get some idea of your spouse okay so first thing i want to Uh, tell you is that first thing simply you need to see is obviously seventh lord of your D one chart. The first, the like the the first target, your first focus must be the seventh lord of your D one chart. Okay, what your seventh lord is. Now even in that there's a lot of thing like where your seventh lord is placed, in which sign your seventh lord is placed, in which nakshatra your seventh lord is placed. Then you have to see that in Navam. So there's a lot more things. and then if you are a male then you can have to see a lot of things but and if you are a female then you can have to see other things as well but the first simple thing for you i want you to i want to tell you you going to have to see your seventh lord now uh, let's say your seventh lord is any planet let's say your seventh lord is sun so some simple thing you can imagine about uh, you know uh, your spouse behavior or nature that he may be a little bit authoritative okay so i will not like explain like lot of thing i want i do not want to create create any confusion etc i want to keep this video simple so let's say seventh lord is sun so spouse can be little bit authoritative okay this is the thing can be seen let's say your seventh lord is moon so spouse can be uh um, you know little bit uh, you know caring and you know physically active physically active i mean like you know in terms of like little bit emotional also and uh, you know sensual little bit sensual can be seen okay then let's say your seventh lord is mars then obviously spouse will be controlling and physically uh, you know doing exercise etc keeping his or her body fit that can be seen let's say your seventh lord is mercury spouse will be intelligent maybe working in something in which he or she have to use their mind okay let's your seventh lord is jupiter spouse will be good uh he will give good advices for you in your in a, your life okay and uh, spouse can be you know uh generally a good person a little bit religious also okay uh let's say seventh lord is venus then obviously spouse will be artistic creative 
sensual you know all those kind of a thing can be seen now let's say your seventh lord is saturn then spouse can be a you know mature person okay that can be seen uh he or she will have maturity to deal with relationship so these are some basic thing that i would like to tell you so once you see your seventh lord you can get some idea by using this video that okay at least like spouse will have these qualities these are the prominent thing then second thing you will have to see which planet is sitting in your seventh house okay so again let's say sun is sitting in the seventh house so like uh now the thing is that one planet is there in the seventh house and the other is your seventh lord so now we gonna have to analyze like how that planet is sitting in the seventh house whether it is good bad neutral or is it like the uh helping the seventh lord or it is like the enemy of seventh lord is just destroying that so and depending upon the aspect etc we have to see but generally as i told earlier like the sun is authority little bit and venus is creativity so you can understand that so let's say for an example venus is sitting in the seventh house okay so spouse will be creative artistic okay beautiful so let's say venus in the seventh so these things can be seen but let's say your seventh lord is jupiter now there is jupiter venus so it may also possible like again we have to see lot more thing but generally it's like a jupiter venus kind of a thing so now it may also possible that your spouse is like creative at sector sensual at sector but also at the same time religious also okay that can also be seen so it's like a balance kind of a thing i am again again and again saying that i am just trying to give you an idea for analysis we have to obviously do the horoscope consultation okay so that's how you can see that so i have taken i have te- i have already told you some basic thing about each planet so let's say about rahu in the 7th house so spouse can have interest in foreign related things okay like the foreign culture maybe try to have hair like the wavy and the you know if let's say you are in a country where people have uh, um you know black hair so she may try to put brown hair if you have brown hair so she may kaput or she may just color her hair like you know or he may color her uh, her or his hair like a orange or red or anything like that you know so if let's say ketu so can be uh, you know so now what you going to have to do guys simply you going to have to combine all these energies okay like you going to have to see that okay my seventh lord is this as per that my spouse nature is this then the other planet is place okay in the seventh house so you going to have to combine the energy then you going to have to also see because today see there's a lot of things i am telling again and again but i am just trying to generalize things today so the next thing is that you going to have to see is that which is your dara karka dara karka is the planet holding the lowest degree okay so your dara karka can be any planet so as per that planet like from uh, excluding rahu ketu dara karka can be any planet so you going to have to combine all the man- energies so let's say your seventh lord is sun and let's say your dara karka is moon and let's say venus is sitting in the seventh house so then the spouse may have like sun mercury and venus kind of nature okay so you may read it as sun venus mercury kind of a thing so like like all planets energy will be there okay but again you can have to give the first priority you know you cannot say that but still uh like again first thing you can have to see your seventh lord then see which planet are there in the seventh house then see dara karka okay so now depending upon other planets we see many things okay but for sure for detail analysis we have to see which planet are respecting the seventh house we have to see dara karka nakshatra seventh lord nakshatra in which sign seventh lord is placed in which house seventh lord is placed that will tell its own story but still these are some things that you can see in your chart to determine at least something about your spouse okay so now i want you to see your chart and tell me in the comment section below that what are the thing that you are able to see or if some observation that you can do and tell me let's do a discussion because it's a community channel so let's just discuss in the comment section that what are the observation that you made about your chart and what are the thing that you can get about your spouse like just by seeing the basic thing like see your 7th house lord see in which planet in, is in your 7th house and see your dara karka okay simple these things just simple like we have to see a lot more but i want you to just just get some basic idea by using like the simple things okay 
you can also take the reference of my video so let's say dharakarka is different planet okay that can be mercury venus moon jupiter mars saturn any any planet from the seven planet because dharakarka can never be rahu ketu we do not consider dharakarka as rahu ketu so dharakarka is from the seven planet sun moon mercury venus jupiter mars saturn okay so my video you can also watch for reference that if mercury is dara karka then what are the result i have video on my channel on this jupi man astrology you can also watch that to understand you can also watch like the seventh lord what are different your spouse nature etc as per your seventh lord my videos also there you can uh, right also watch by seventh lord in different houses video i have created so you can get some basic basic ideas okay so just see that and uh, put comment below about your observation like what you have seen and for sure if you want person consultation from me then links are in description you can always purchase them and i will catch you in next exciting beautiful amazing video till then bye bye my beautiful ladies and my handsome boys bye bye my girls and boys